Hey Draw Set Cuties, Wayne here. Today we're going to draw the Cheshire Cat from Alice in Wonderland. So let's get started. To draw this cool cat, let's first start by drawing his eyes. So I'm going to come right here and draw a big circle. And I'm going to come right next to it, not too far apart, and about right here, I'll start the other circle. Then I'm going to come inside towards the edge right here and draw another circle. Give it a little highlight and just shade everything else in. So same thing over here. So towards this edge now, towards the bottom a little bit more, highlight and shade it in. There. Okay, so then now we can draw the big nose right in between. So. Right in between the eyes, I'm going to come about right here and just draw a big curve. Round off the edge and bring it right into the center. And then right in here, I'm going to draw a little curve that comes to the center. And the same thing over here, for indication of the nostril. So then now that we have that in, let's come straight down the center of this nose. Come down with a straight line. Not too much, just enough for our whiskers. So say about right there. And I'm going to fix this eye here. Just not, you need to connect the eye and the nose. So a little gap right there. Okay, so then from there, I can go ahead and draw the whiskers. So there's going to be three on each side. So let's say about right here, one. I'll do the bottom one first. I know I have enough room. And three. So same thing over here. One, two, and three. And then in between, there's going to be these dots. So I'm just going to put two for now, or... You know what? There might be three, right? So I'll put one more here. <laughs> okay, so then from there I can go above the eye and I will draw a big curve right over the eye for the brow and thicken it up. Same thing over here. And thicken it up. Okay, so then now we can start to draw the big mouth. But before we do that, let's come right underneath the eye and we're going to draw a curve. So same thing over here. Just draw this curve that's going to start to frame the mouth. And from there, let's go up with big curve around. So same thing here. Nice big curve and around. So we're going to stop there for now because we have to put in the mouth. So by using this curve, now we know where to put the mouth. So right in here, I'm just going to draw a curve and same thing here on both sides. Now I can go ahead and connect it with a big curve right underneath the whiskers. Go all the way across. For our signature Cheshire Cat smile. <laughs> and then go ahead and come right back and thicken it up. There. Now you know what we're drawing, right? Now you can see. Now it's all coming together. Okay, so for the teeth, let's use this as our center guide. And I'm just going to draw two angles right there. And just go, go ahead and draw some angle lines all the way in. So I'm kind of radiating out so they're not all straight. So I'm just radiating out from the center. There. Okay, so then now we can go ahead and complete this part right here. So just bring it down. And we're just going to go right underneath um, the mouth. So about right here, let's go ahead and so it's easier for my hand from this way. Definitely turn your paper if you need to draw so cuties. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and connect it all the way across. 
Nice big curve. And then right underneath the mouth, you can just draw a little curve if you like to make our cat f nice and plump. <laughs> Okay, so then now we can draw the top. So let's come right to the center between the brows. They're about right here. I'll give myself a point. And from there, I'm gonna to start to zigzag the fur. So one, two, and our goal here is to have this curve that comes right in this area. So three and curve right there. Then I'm gonna go out a curve and we're just basically going to taper it around into this part right here just taper this curve into the cheek area okay so same thing on the other side I'm just gonna zigzag way across and we just want to make sure we have that curve just like right here so I'm just gonna come right here and make sure I have that first just like the other side, and then I'll just go ahead and fill in the curves. So once again, same thing, go out and fur and taper it in. There. Okay, almost done. Now we have his ears. So right from the center, we're going to come out with a curve and down. Same thing on the other side. Out and down, and then just draw a curve right in here for some details. So now that we're finally done with the head, let's go ahead and draw the body and we're going to center it. So about right here and here, I'm gonna go ahead and draw a big curve. And we'll just bring it all the way down. about right there and then I'm going to go ahead right in the center and draw a curve right in the center and then from there I can go ahead and draw the legs I'm going to come out on both sides and this is going to taper in and I'm going to draw the feet now so I'm going to come out with a curve and round it off and connect it so same thing here. And connect it. And for some details, just come right here and we're just gonna put in a curve right here to cut off. And the toe, one big curve and then two smaller ones. Same thing over here. Bigger one and then two smaller ones. Okay, so then now we can go ahead and draw the hands. So right here, I'm just having his hands out. So about right here, I'm gonna come out with a curve and connect it with another small curve and then just bring it right back in. And then for the hands, let's come out with a curve and a thumb. And then we're gonna dip it in, come out for the fingers. Round it off and bring it in. And then for some details, let's come right in here and just draw two curves. And you can even draw another curve right here for the palm. Okay, so same thing on the other side. So let's come out. Oh, about right there. And I'm just gonna drag this point across, make sure about the same. And bring it together, about right there, and connect. And once again, just like the other side, we're gonna draw a thumb first, curve it in, come out, and back in. And then once again, two little lines right there, and if you like, a curve right there. Okay, so then, then from there, let's draw the tail. Um, let's say about right here, 
I'm gonna go ahead and just bring out big curve and then taper it out right here. I'm gonna bring it in and curve it right back. Okay, so then now we have the basic um, elements in now to make it look like a Cheshire cat by giving it all the stripes. So let's start right here on the arm and I'm just going to go ahead and start drawing these curves. So these curves also help bring this drawing to life. It gives the cat more dimension. So that's why we want to draw these curves not just make them straight stripes there okay so then now for the tummy area we're going to start let's start at the top right here i'm going to start with right underneath the chin and another one going right across and for this center one, I'm going to wobble a little bit. So, but right here, I kind of make it look like a wave. And then now we can start the bottom going the other way. So, but right here. So by wobbling, it just helps the transition. So now it looks like our cat here has more dimension, right? Okay, so then now for the legs, you can also do a little wobble and up. Same thing here. A little wobble and up. And now for the tail. So same thing, we're just gonna come right here, a curve, and keep going. And one more. Big one right here. And that is pretty much it for my Cheshire Cat from Alice in Wonderland. And of course, let's add a heart right here because I have enough room. <laughs> and definitely check out my playlist for my new Alice in Wonderland. And I definitely plan to draw more characters from this cute cartoon. So they're all done. I really hope you love how this cool cat turned out from Alice in Wonderland. I made it fun and easy for you to follow along with me. Thanks so much for watching. And if you loved it, please make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any new Jurassic Cute videos. See you later.